Hello everyone, welcome to Code Bandit. In this tutorial, we'll see how to use GitHub as a source control and uh, how we can use GitHub as a server to store our code and to share it amongst multiple developers. So uh, let's move towards the second slide. What are the advantage? Now, this is uh, the point where we are uh, most interested in. Now, the first point is multiple developer can work simultaneously. So yes. Now, once we create a repository on GitHub and we check out that repository using Visual Studio on our local PC and when we add new file to that particular folder and when we go to Visual Studio in pending changes, it will show that a new file has been added. So you need to check in that file to the server. Once we check in that file, so it will be available on that GitHub repository. So any other developer can, you know, check out that file. It, uh, the other developer can sync to that particular file. So this is one case so that uh, any developer when adds any file, uh, other developer will absolutely get it. So as it is a single server. And the thing is, you know, whenever you make any change to a particular file, uh, you, uh, to a particular code, it will show in Visual Studio pending changes that uh, uh, the, the code in this particular file has been changed. So when you right click and compare, it will show you changed code. So this is one of the very important thing uh, as far as the TFS, uh, that is Visual Studio TFS and GitHub is considered. Uh, the second point we have discussed, all developers can be in sync. So when you add new code, you just compare it and you can check into the server, uh, to the GitHub. Free of cost. Yes. So the repository uh, that we create on GitHub is free of cost. You can store your code on the GitHub. Uh, but the problem is it is public, so it can be seen by other developers. If you want to create your repository or to keep your repository private, you need to purchase some packages that has been specified by GitHub. Check in, check out of code using Visual Studio. Now, Visual Studio is mostly used and it is one of the most common IDE. The user, uh, the UI that they have given is quite easy to use and user friendly. So, guys, I think you have uh, understood the basic idea that we'll be using, using uh, that we'll be implementing using GitHub with Visual Studio Team Foundation Server. So, let's move further. The first thing that you'll need to do is visit to github.com, make your account, uh, a very simple step and you'll get this as your account. So just uh, click on this plus sign and new repository. I'll name it as demo project. So this is my repository. If you have to give any description, just give. So I'll give this description and as I said that public and private, if you have to um, go for private, you will have to purchase their plan. So right now I'll just go for public repository and initialize with readme if you have any uh, instruction to be given. So and create repository. And now this repository is created. As you can see, there is only one file, readme.md, and whatever you write in that file, it will be displayed here. Now we have to sync this online repository where my all code will be stored in my local PC. So just click on this green button, clone or download, and you can see this copy to clipboard. So copy it. Uh, now it is time to open Visual Studio. So this is our Visual Studio Professional 2013. So you'll have to go in connect to team projects. So this is the symbol here, connect to team project and you need to click on this clone. Okay. So as I said before that, click on this clone and download and click on this button, copy to clipboard. So uh, this URL has been copied and I'll paste it here in clone section, this first one, first text box. So I'll paste it here. And now this should be the path where you have to store the code. So I will, so I have to store my code in this demo folder. So I'll copy this address and I'll paste it here. So once done, now this is the repository, which I have to clone on my local PC. Uh, and this is the address where I have to clone. So I'll click on clone. Now while doing this, so guys, uh, you can see that our uh, GitHub repository that is demo project which contains one file readme.md is synced to our local pc here you can see that it has been added uh, on location e github sync so let's move to that location and see so here we can see that readme.md file is present which was present on github uh, repository so let's add a new file and 
see that whether is it detected or not this is just a demo file a text document i've created here and we'll go we'll see whether the changes are detected or not this is home and click on changes so here you will see untracked files expand it and you can see guys in e github sync a new file has been added now what we need to do is right click on it and click on add so this is added and i'll just add a comment added demo file and i'll push it to github commit and push now here is a a uh, very important step that we need to do so we'll have to enter our username and password uh, in the account and the repository that we have to push in so the i'll have to add the credentials that is username and password of this particular account of this one so the credentials are i'll enter it So I have entered my username and password and click on remember my credentials so that while checking in it will not ask you again and again you just have to enter it once I'll click okay and let's see whether this file is pushed or not and you can read here successfully pushed one commit to origin so let's check on our github I'll just press F5 I'll refresh this page and guys you can see that along with readme.md there is a new file new text document.txt so this file is been checked to github and this particular directory demo project now why is this so we have already taken that particular a directory demo project we have cloned that particular directory on our pc so when we add any new file or when we change any code it will be automatically detected here and when we check in those changes or when we check in those added file it will be automatically added to this particular repository on the github so let's move to the next section where we'll change some particular text or you can say it as will change some code so the file that we have created that is new text document now we'll go to home and click on changes you will see that there is no any change or no any untracked file now when we'll go to new text document we'll add some text here i'll save this document and again when we'll go to this section team explorer and home changes so you can see that here is a new file included so this file is been changed so i'll right click and i need to see what is changed so we'll click on compare with unmodified and we'll get a screen here so as you can see that uh, there is a red mark here this there was nothing present previously but now we have added this demo text so what i'll do is added sample code and then i'll commit and push this file on the github now if you see we are check, we are committing it second time we are checking in the code second time now it has not asked for the code it is automatically synced to github so we'll just press f5 here again we'll uh, refresh this code and i'll click on this new text document.txt you can see here the text that we have added demo text is present here so this is how we sync github with visual studio now by doing this you can share your code with multiple developers who may be located in different part of the country or different part of the world so you can work in sync no matter where you are located so this way you can complete your project successfully most important part is you can be in sync with each and every piece of code that you write so guys i wish you find this tutorial useful and please do not forget to subscribe keep studying keep enjoying thank you